This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 14th of April. Dow's down 17 at 34,016 after a fabulous session yesterday. Most importantly, there is a left side high of 34,331 on the 14th of February in the Dow. Um, we're going to be watching to see if next week it's able to try for that or it needs to retest the 33,500-400 area. The weekly chart shows you that a break above this trend line would be really positive. You'll see the same thing in the S&P. The S&P right now, uh, the Dow has Boeing and Boeing's dragging the market down, but JP Morgan's lifting it up. What we're looking at is uh, uh, we're looking at the S&P up nine, almost 10 at 41.56. There's a leg D in the Dow, leg E in the uh, daily chart of the S&P. And you can see this cup formation in the weekly chart is starting to improve a lot, but it needs to break above the 4200 level to really say, I'm out of my resistance area. I'm now looking for new territory. Same thing in the weekly chart, in the monthly chart, looking at the QQQ. There's a little bit more going on in the QQQs that are 56 at 319.73. It's still pretty good action when you consider what's going on. Even the weekly chart is starting to improve. IWM has been the weak link here. Uh, today it's up uh, 79 cents at 178.97. Not, not bad action. Gold, let's see if gold is pulling back. Uh, gold is down 22 at 2033. This is the area that I'm anticipating that gold could have some kind of resistance only if you're looking at the dollar, which is now, <clears throat> excuse me, up a little at 101.25, up 24 ticks. We're talking about the left side low. Uh, of 100.82 that was made on the 3rd of February. We're testing it today. We went down to 100. What do we do? 100 point. Oh, I can't see. 100 point uh, something or other. I'll tell you right now what it is. <laughs> well, I'll try to tell you. Uh, there it is. So we're talking about 100 point. Whoa, very interesting. 100, 100 and 100 point 79. So we've just taken that out. This is where you need to see some some stability in the dollar. And you're looking at U.S. bonds. U.S. bonds are down sharp. You see yields are going up. And crude oil is uh, about unchanged. Yeah, it's up a dollar. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians.